saying, um, this is a response to, um, Kevin's video, which was a response to Duran's video about how far is too far when jokery is concerned. Um, I just, like, while I was watching the video, I kind of made a list of some interesting things that you said, Kevin, and I just want to, like, respond to them and let you know, you know, my own opinion, because we share a lot of the same, um, thoughts about stuff. Um, so the first thing that I want to mention is, um, the whole family guy thing, and about how, you know, it's, it's children that are, wa that are, that is, that are watching Family Guy and, you know, are seeing these stereotypes and maybe not quite understanding them because they're so young and, la but yet they laugh at it, you know what I mean? But the saddest part about it is that it's people that are like my age, I'm like 20. So there's people 20 and above who understand, who learn the meaning of stereotypes, who themselves have been stereotypes, stereotypes, and watch Family Guy and laugh, and don't really think to question, you know, why is it that the, you know, media can get away with this, you know what I mean? Um, so I think it's really sad that we've become somewhat comfortable, and rather than being active, we've settled for inactivity by being comfortable and by, by laughing at, you know, racist stereotypes. And, you know, it's, it's really sad because, like, we've come to the point where we're kind of selfish about things because it's like, the only time that we really get mad is when it affects us in the sense that, like, okay, I'm black, and if somebody makes, like, a joke about Jews, I'm more likely to laugh about it than I am to laugh about somebody making a joke about black people. Why? Because I'm black. You know what I mean? And that's what I mean by being selfish. Like, we tend to protect ourselves and care more about situations when it pertains to our own identity. And that's just that's selfish. But anyway, getting back to the list. Um, the other thing you spoke about was um, how your friends... Um, made the joke about how do you hide stuff from a black person and put it in a book. And um, you have said that it's kind of sad because there's some truth to some of the racist um, jokes or whatever. And I definitely agree with you. Like, it is sad that, you know, um, a joke can't be false. You know what I mean? It can't just be like, oh, That'd be funny if it was true. You know what I mean? It can be a hypothetical thing, but it's actually becoming something that's real. And um, even sadder than that is the fact that, like I said before, some of us are comfortable. Some of us have said, you know, well, that shit's funny. You know what I mean? While others are like, no, I'm, I'm going to work hard to prove it wrong. You know, I'm going to pick up a book. I'm going to find what it is that you're hiding, you know what I mean? And I just wish there was more of us who were curious to, like, not curious, I'm sorry, who were, you know, hungry to, like, fight off these stereotypes. Um, and moving along, the other thing you said was, um, we degrade ourselves but expect others to stop berating and oppressing us. And, um, I definitely agree with that. It's the, it's the same way they say, you know, you have to love love before you can be in it, before you can be loved. Um, it's definitely true. Like, you, you have to start with yourself first. And it's sad that we don't respect each other, but we get mad when people disrespect us. You know what I mean? The same way, like, men, you know, are quick to defend their little sisters, like, if a guy is trying to, you know, holler at their little sister, yo, don't talk to my sister, that's my sister, or don't talk to my mother, that's my mother, but as soon as they see a, a fine woman, they're quick to, you know, talk to her and things like that, and it just, it doesn't make sense because it's like, you're not practicing what you're preaching, you know what I mean? Um, and with that being said, I also wanted to bring up what you said about how, um, black 
men, well not even black men nowadays, just men in general, are calling women bitches and um, I was like, well I said that really hard, <laughs> that's what I was like, um, no but really though, like how they, they are disrespecting their women and things like that and how black men are dropping out of school and you know, losing their jobs because they're cutting people out and stuff like that and I just wanted to bring up my my personal theory um uh, not my girl, I was talking. um was the fact that like how in history there was the whole like I don't know if this is like you could consider a conspiracy theory but how like in slavery times there was the house nigga and the seal nigga and usually the house nigga was like of a lighter complexion and the film nigga was like darker complexion and that whole like that w that whole thing was like systemized in the sense so that blacks could turn against each other and be like well i'm better than you because i'm in the house and i get these privilege certain privileges while you're outside doing this and so forth yet they didn't understand that what's happening is that instead of them coming together to be strong they're dividing and they're becoming weak and I feel like that same thing is still happening in our society today and it's, it's progressed even deeper to the point where it's not it's it's like levels within levels you know what I mean and when I say levels I mean like rather than blacks versus blacks or light-skinned blacks versus a dark-skinned black it's gotten more complex to the point where it's like a black woman versus a black man, or uh, a, a, a wealthier elite versus, you know, low, lower class. But what's happening is like they they have the same common bound, which is that they're black. If a white person looks at them, clearly you're black. You know what I mean? And there's no like denying that. But um, there are those subdivisions that that help split us up and help us, you know, recognize like, oh, I'm different and I'm better or, you know, I might be, I might not be as good enough because I don't have the same thing. Um, anyway, I'm not, I hope I'm not ranting, but that's my thought. Um, and then the last thing I want to say was how, um, you said it's good to laugh at stuff, um, and it's good to live live a little and not be all serious and stuff. And I definitely agree with that. I really do. Um, however, I leave with the question of when you're laughing at things, you have to make sure that those are the things that are worth laughing at. You know what I mean? You can't be laughing at somebody like dissing your race or like just you know what I mean? So I think it's okay to laugh as long as you're laughing at the right thing. Um, so yeah, um, I hope I made my points clear, um, and I hope I didn't turn into like a ranting black woman. I'm not trying to do that. Um, and just hit me up and let me know what you think about what I think about what you think. <laughs> about what Duran thinks. <laughs> so let me stop. But anyway, thank you. Good night.